Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, we hope you're well out there. Um, we are finally getting around to doing our um, series on witchcraft. So we mm -hmm. hope that this is a series that is edifying and is informative. Well, I guess that's the same word, mm -hmm. but um, that is both. <laughs> and we hope this blesses you. Mm -hmm. And we do want to start off with a brief, brief disclaimer. Mm -hmm. Please be mindful. You know, if anything that we're talking about causes you to go and look up some stuff, just be mindful of the site you're going through, going to. Um, my sister was talking about, um, oh, she just said it. Well, <laughs> but being prayed up. Yeah, that would be my my recommendation. If you are going to start searching and looking up some of these things, um, pray before you do it. Mm -hmm. You know, as you're clicking on a website, say a prayer, because a lot of these paths that you might take um, will be unsafe for you. So um, we're not saying don't research and don't look into it, but do it um, responsibly, judiciously, responsibly right. mm -hmm. and uh, responsibly, resp be responsible spiritually because Definitely. you don't want to go down a path that now compromises you mm -hmm. and um, where you are in your life. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's get into it. Mm -hmm. um, so what is witchcraft? We have come up with a nice simplistic definition, I think. Mm -hmm. We are describing witchcraft as the legal attempt to enter, access the spiritual world without God. So an illegal attempt to access the spiritual world without God. And by God, we're talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying some alternative ways and you're trying to access the supernatural realm and you're not going through God, you know, Jehovah, God, then that, in our view, is witchcraft. And if you're trying to access a supernatural realm for a particular reason, right, for power, for insight, for to, be, to obtain something and you're mm -hmm. not going through the God of Abraham, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're in witchcraft territory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I already feel myself going off on a tangent, but just because she said that made me think of something. Where in the Bible where it was, was it when the Israelites were going to the promised land? Well, let me just say this in general. God wants us to rely 100% upon him. Mm -hmm. He wants us to rely on him. Mm -hmm. Our providence, everything should be coming from him. Mm -hmm. The minute we start looking elsewhere, mm -hmm. either it's through our own might or through another supernatural way, like through another um, um, deity, mm -hmm. that's when you start running into problems. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to rely. He wants to be the person who is, who is supplying all of our needs. Mm -hmm. So when we start dabbling and start doing all sorts of weird things, that's when we start getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. So why are we talking about this? So we're talking about this for, um, well, I feel like there's probably a number of reasons, but the one that's just coming um, right front front and center is the mere fact that I, again, was on YouTube. And, oh yeah, that's how um, it started. And the algorithm, the algorithm just likes to give me these gifts. The algorithm is like, here, let's throw me some balls. Mm, yeah. I think you want this girl, don't you? You want some of this. Um, and I saw a video of Azalea Banks, who was basically talking about her witchcraft practices. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I started following. Well, I think I know. I think I somehow she came up on my feed and I watched something of her and I'm like, wow, this lady, she's so foul mouthed and, and everything is just so angry. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of maybe I Googled it and then it came up anyways, or YouTube did. Anyhow. Um, so I just watched a brief, brief aspect of, of the video, um, and rightly so, because in one of these videos, she starts going into crazy land. Um, but then I went straight to the comments. The comments is always where it's at. Uh, so I went to the comments mm -hmm. and um, after sifting through the comments, I just, I just recognized that there's, there's a casualness. There's a casualness that people are having about witchcraft that I think is problematic. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you are, you know, are not that familiar with it, you may be swept up in the craziness. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in the comment section of that video that 
I think culturally our practitioners or are used to it because, you know, coming from like Caribbean background. So I'm assuming that she somehow, I think she was raised by a nanny who has a Caribbean background. I think that's what people are saying in the comment section. So she now has picked up a lot of um, I think the, the, the nanny was from the Dominican Republic. So she was able to pick up a lot of these things from it. So again, culturally, there's a lot of our cultures that, you know, witchcraft, I guess, is, is normal. We've normalized this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so there's a casualness about it. And let me just Because we call it culture. We're, we're not calling it witchcraft. Well, okay. Yeah. That is correct. But let this serve as a warning to all of y'all people. Stop messing with the instruments of the devil. Stop messing with the instruments of the devil. I'm going to say it again. Stop messing with the instruments of the devil. Y'all have no idea what you're doing. None. None, 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 none. Y'all think that this is just a walk in the park. Y'all think that this, it don't take all of that. Oh, no. You guys are messing with demonic stuff. And by demonic, I'm not just saying casual. This is deep, deep, deep. Demonic, dark, dark, satanic stuff. There's nothing bright, rainbow, cheery about it. It's not of God. There's no light in it. Please mm -hmm. stop messing with witchcraft. If you are a Christian, mm -hmm. don't go near it at all. At all, at all, at all. You need to be like someone who's sober and is trying to hold on to so their sobriety and you never, 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 never have that's a drink. Good. Yeah, that's good. Never. It's not for you. Mm. These folks are coming out. There's, there's, again, there's a casualness about it and people are just talking about it. Oh, well, you know, when I do it and it's almost like they're, you know, you know, glorifying they're it. glorifying it. They're getting, you know, benefits from it, blah, blah, blah. But guys... And we're going to talk about this through this series. There are deep consequences to witchcraft. Mm -hmm. There's, there's witchcraft is not just some, some plaything that you just do and whatever. Once you start opening those doors, nothing can close it unless it's Jesus Christ himself. Do you hear what I'm saying? And if you, it's a trap, it's a trap. Again, yeah, the, the devil's not trying to let you, they, you know what it is? It's like going through, you know, well, how about, what do you call those one of those roads where there's no way out? A oh, one way, like a, oh sorry, dead end, like a, hey, a dead end. <laughs> oh, dead. it's like a dead end. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing there, and the only way you can get out is Jesus and true Jesus. People stop, and unfortunately, by the time you recognize that it's a dead end, it's too late. And when you, we're we're dealing with witchcraft, it's not just about you. You're thinking that, oh, I'm, I'm participating in the witchcraft and I'm going to get, oh, I'm going to the, to the Sangoma, to the whoever. Cause so I, cause I want to be a man. Yeah. To the Obi a man, because I'm doing this. No, 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 no. That stuff in the Bible says, and we're going to pull it up. It's going to follow you to the fourth generation. Yeah. Meaning so that your child is going to have to deal with the consequences of you dabbling with witchcraft. So is your, your, your grandchild. And so is your great grandchild and your great, great. Did I do that right? I feel like that's one too many. But you're okay. basically leaving an inheritance. <laughs> you're leaving an inheritance to your kids. Of witchcraft, of, a, of, of cursed of a life. Of covenant with the satanic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. And maybe we are the kids of those things. We are here and we're trying to press into Jesus. And we're wondering, hey, what's going on? How come? How come? And we're just struggling with life. And you don't know. Maybe you don't it's know because... there's a generational curse. Yeah. There's a curse. Somebody mm -hmm. somewhere. You don't know that your daddy and daddy did you know, X, Y, and Z. And mm -hmm. here you used are. to go. And they were at the Obia man's mm -hmm. house messing around with chicken, dead chickens and blood and doing all sorts of weird, gross, yeah. nasty, demonic stuff. It's such a selfish practice because you're mm -hmm. thinking about yourself. Mm -hmm. What can I get? Oh, I need to get this job. Oh, I need to get this man. Oh, I need to get mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. I need to get this money, this contract. But you just covenanted generations. 
Mm -hmm. It's so selfish. It is. Well, the word also says it, Hosea 4, 6 or 6, 4, that my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, a lot of us, we're, we're involving ourselves in these things and we don't know. Think about it. If you went to sign that contract and it said, you know, the yeah, fine, print, fine print and you can actually read it. If the fine print, like, you guess took what? Up a little thing and you're like, the fine print said, oh, this is also failure to abide by all these rules is going to affect all four generations to come. You would think twice. But guess what? Nobody's going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that. Your little, that. your little, your person who's leading you, all of these weird names I was reading, whoever is your, the shaman, whoever, they're not going to tell you. But where, where would you find that knowledge? The Bible will actually tell you. People discount the Bible, but the they Bible do. will tell you, guess what is the result? The fruit of this action equals this. Mm. You're going to covenant your gener the generations after you. So these shamans, these other people that you're, yogis, whatever, whoever you're consulting, they're not going to tell you the fine print. The fine print is in the Bible. Amen. Amen. So since she's talking about fine print, let's find some fine print for you. Mm. So in Leviticus 19.31, it says, give no regard to medium, mediums and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord, your God. So that's, I'm, I'm glad that the Bible puts it there. The, don't go to these mediums, these people who are practicing tarot cards, these people who are operating in the psychic realm. What does these, it say? To be defiled. To be defiled. Meaning you will be defiled. You will be unclean. You will be defiled. I mean, there's nothing It's, it's black and white. It's black and white. Leviticus 26 says... 20 verse 6. Yes, thank you. 20 verse 6 says, And the person who turns to mediums and familiar spirits to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from his people. God ain't playing with y'all. Y'all people, y'all lovers of Jesus Christ is just, they're standing there stroking the lamb. Listen, God himself is saying, you're going out there and you're prostituting yourself. He's going to turn his face away from you. Let me tell you something, Tilo. That's one of the worst things I think that, that anybody can experience is having the, the face of God turned away from you. I, I, don't, I don't know what could be worse. God ain't picking up your phone calls. Matter of fact, he, don't at him. You know what it is? It's like, it's like, you know, when you, back in the day when you write snail mail and the junk comes back and says, <laughs> return to sender. He didn't get your letter. It was blocked. It just, it was turned around at the gate when they were sifting mail, mm -hmm. heaven mail. Mm -hmm. So an angel took it and stamped it, returned to sender. He ain't listening to you. Your junk is blocked. Don't bother. Don't bother. Mm -hmm. Should we go on? Mm -hmm. Let's go with some of the more simplistic ones. Um, yeah, Exodus 22. Exodus 22. That's as simple as it gets. Verse 18 says, you shall not permit a sorceress to live. Or in another version, you shall not suffer a witch to live. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how seriously God looks at witchcraft. Yeah. Like witches must die. Okay. And Exodus twenty two twenty says, he who sacrifices to any God except to the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Again, you know, obviously we'll, we'll get more into detail about this stuff, but when you're going to all of these, these, these witches or whoever, you don't go without gifts mm. or you don't go without your, your sadaka, right? Yeah, an offering. Your offering. Mm. You have to come with your offering. So the Bible is there clearly saying you're making these sacrifices. You'll be utterly destroyed. So don't mm. do it. And you know what I was just thinking about? What were um, you thinking about? So I was just thinking about um, the story um, in the Bible of um, Abimelech and Abraham. Mm -hmm. um, so somewhere in Genesis, we'll, try, I guess, try to footnote it, um, where, you know, Abraham, Abraham had lied and said that Sarah is my wife. Sarah is not my wife. Sarah is my sister because he mm -hmm. was scared that Abimelech or some, you know, people in his kingdom would kill him mm -hmm. on behalf of her because she was so mm -hmm. beautiful. And so Abimelech was tortured through the night, you know, um, because God didn't want him to touch Sarah. And finally, you know, he's having this conversation with God through his dream saying, you know, I, I didn't know that this, you know, I haven't, I'm a righteous man. Would you slay a righteous man? And, you know, the next morning he calls Abraham, 
says, hey, why, why did you lie to me? And he's like, oh, I only lied because, you know, I was scared that you might actually kill me on account of my wife. And the guy was, and Abimelech was like, go ahead, take Sarah, take your wife, go, you know, actually here's land, you know, here's gifts, this and the third, you know, go, 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 you know, go away. Abraham leaves with his wife. And then during, you know, after he leaves, Abimelech, so Abimelech does what God has asked him to do. Mm -hmm. Give the man his wife back because he's a prophet. Mm -hmm. He gives the man his wife back. He doesn't touch her. Nothing happens. He actually even gives gifts. Mm -hmm. So he's satisfied God's request. Mm -hmm. But still, after that, the women in his land were barren. And, you know, the Bible says that their, the issues, their issues had been stopped up. So it actually makes me even wonder if they had stopped menstruating, menstruating and stuff mm -hmm. like, like something that was really noticeable. There, nothing was happening. Their wombs were basically stopped up. Mm -hmm. And so Abimelech now calls Abraham back and says, I need you to pray for me. Mm. So even though God had, he had actually honored God's request and restored the man's wife, he had done everything on God's list to do and actually more. He was still suffering from a result of this particular punishment okay. and needed help from Abraham to release him from the curse, the burden, whatever was mm -hmm. inflicted mm -hmm. upon him. Mm -hmm. So just kind of as we were talking about like witchcraft, it's like sometimes you might actually not know, you know, what the end result will be. You know, you could pray for, you know, forgiveness and God could forgive you for mm -hmm. what you did. Mm -hmm. But what about actually lifting? Like, what if there is something that still does not move in your life as a result of your involvement and your dabbling with the crystals and with the Ouija boards and with the, you know, the sage and stuff like that? What if there's still something that is needed on the back end in order for you to now not just live, but be fruitful, to be, to multiply, to, to be prosperous, mm -hmm. to actually have the abundant life. Mm -hmm. God can restore your physical life, but what if there's still more work that needs to be done in order for you to now be fruitful? Mm -hmm. Because with Abimelech, they were, he noticed that there's a lack of fruitfulness. Was right. So anyways, it was just a thought that um, mm -hmm. was coming to mind when you were talking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it, it, it makes me mm -hmm. think of the whole, um, the scripture that says, um, now my mind just deleted it. But isn't there a scripture that talks about, you know, you shall speak a thing and it shall be established? Is that scripture yeah, that I just make Job. it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe the, there's also... You shall a thing. declare a thing and it will be oh, yeah. established. So you shall yeah. declare a thing and it shall be established. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that also, we also know that life and death lie in the power of the tongue. So mm -hmm. if you combine those two scriptures, then what you end up having is you know, um, again, you're going to them, child, you're going to the witch doctor, whatever you want to call these people, the witch, you've got your, your little thing and they've spoken something because that's what you wanted, whatever you were seeking them for. Mm -hmm. And so it's established mm -hmm. and God honors that. He's just, honoring, just he's honoring way, your word because we have dominion in this. We have dominion. And world, remember yeah. God spoke and the world formed mm -hmm. through speaking. There's something about speaking these things. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And just because it came to my brain, my sister likes to talk about it, but I don't want to go too much off. But this is just a caveat. There's almost nothing to do with what we're talking about, but does. When you are praying, make sure you're praying things out loud. Mm. Don't just sit there and just say prayers in your head. Because these witches out there, when they're out there doing their witchdom, they are not just saying seances and spells in their head. They're speaking over their little pots or whatever we see in the shows. Yeah. And they're saying it out into the atmosphere. So when you are canceling things and you're praying over your life and there's things that you're trying to speak and, 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 and shift. Yeah. yes, you have to say it out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Say it the out curse, loud. The curse was never placed on you through a meditation. Silently. Just somebody just uh, then, no they said it out loud no. they spoke to the atmosphere mm -hmm. they spoke to the elements mm -hmm. so just, just wanted to put yeah. that out there for whoever that's for yeah. um but yeah so things are established so you, mm -hmm. you need to be you need to be careful about those things and so maybe what i'm hearing tigu saying is in that establishment yeah god may forgive you and what have you but you might need to work and fast and pray over what was established and even figuring out what was that thing that possibly was established and set out you know when it comes to this that or the other and you'll need to be like abimelech who knew hey this is a problem 
I noticed there's no fruitfulness anymore. Well, and 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 stay tuned. We're gonna have another video about that because we're gonna it's gonna be called spiritual mapping. The good thing about uh, uh, Abimelech is that he was able to do some spiritual mapping in that period of time mm -hmm. and able to say, wait a minute. When that lady came up in this house, that's when all the problems started. Everything and, was fine until, until Sarah that and lady come showed up. In up. Here, yeah. Where that lady at? <laughs> so y'all need to be able to do that too in mm -hmm. your lives and be able to sit down and go back and say, huh, everything was good it is until really I was important. able to do that. So we'll come back to that. We, I, I have notes on that. Well, so we have to. Because we'll, we'll that, come back. that we'll one do is, a, we'll that, do a whole, that's next level. A whole thing for that. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've talked about witchcraft, what it is. Again, mm -hmm. remember, we were describing it as an illegal attempt to access the spiritual world without the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about why this was brought up. And it was brought up because I was seeing Azalea uh, Banks doing her, her, her casualness with the witchcraft. Tila, you had a story you wanted to share. You want to talk about Tom Brady? Oh, yes, Tom Brady. So, you know, it's like witchcraft is, it, it, it's so, like, just like you said, you know, it's, normalized really in our right? culture you know and even so i had seen this video um of tom brady he was doing something some sort of promo with gillette getting his um his beard shaved or something like that and he was talking about you know the tools for success i mean you know obviously you know he works out he eats clean he eats paleo, well, right? whatever mm -hmm. it is special trainers special yeah whatever. Uh -huh. all of that but he mentioned that his wife is a witch yes he did and so one of the key drivers for his success is the fact that his wife is a witch. And doing witch things. And doing witch things. And mm -hmm. I wrote down the things that he said, mm -hmm. his wife, Giselle, we mm -hmm. all know her, Giselle Bunchen. the things that she does mm -hmm. is um, she makes him an altar that he brings to the games um, with pictures of his kids. Um, he also brings protection stones, healing stones. He wears a necklace. He takes special drops. He says mantras. And, you know, she also pretty much basically does fortune telling because she predicts the games that he's going to win. So he asks her, is this going to be our year? Oh, yeah, baby, this is going to be our year. Oh, no, this is not going to be our year. So a bunch of fortune telling, too. And so it just it just it just really fascinated me. You know, it's like, wow, like we have we have legitimized it. We've made it mainstream. We've made it acceptable. And none of this is OK. None of this is OK. But it's staring us right in the face. Somebody like Tom Brady, who's winning Super Bowls, you know, at an age when, you know, a lot of people would have retired, is basically relying on witchcraft. I mean, he's not a Christian, but, well, maybe, maybe he, let me not say that. I think, I think he, let me not say that. <laughs> he had to pull himself up. Because I think he, I, I think he grew up Catholic and, well, listen, I don't know. All I, all I can say is that he <laughs> lives with the witch. Wow. It's funny how people will say, wait, I'm not going to say what I'm going to say. Well, I don't know. Actually, they say it and then actually, I'm going to say one more thing. Yeah. What'd you say? I'm going to say one more thing. Mm -hmm. Giselle Bunchen, his witch, his witch wife, his witch said, wife. Said, said, you're lucky. You're lucky you married a witch. And for me, when I heard that, I was just like, oh, she didn't say you, you're lucky you married a woman who practices, which you're lucky you married a witch, meaning she was a witch when he married her. Meaning when they went on their first date, she was a witch. He went on a date with a witch and ended up marrying a witch. That to me just blew my mind. He ended up marrying a witch or at least dating a witch while he just had broken up with his previous But let's not get into that scandal. Bridget, Bridget, but my yeah. point, no, I think the Bridget Moni, Mona, Monahan, whatever. Something, something. The reason I'm just bringing that up is because you guys have to be careful who That's you're getting story entangled okay. with. Because here you are, you don't know what type of juju... <laughs> She was doing spell. juju. When he met spell? her, she was a witch. <laughs> what she was a witch. Spell? You are under a yes. spell. Yes. So you're going out on this date with a girl who is a bona fide, diehard witch from Brazil doing all the Santeria stuff from her. Uh, maybe they're not. I don't know what they're doing in Brazil. Whatever she's doing. What, whatever those people are doing down in Brazil. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of black people down there. <laughs> I know well, she. Did, well, I knew she did. She didn't get it from Germany. She didn't get it from Germany. But so let me tell you this. So the man had the 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 girlfriend who was pregnant, Bridget. Yeah. And I think was a was a new, they broke up and then the girl recognized that she was pregnant. So it didn't take that long for you to recognize that you had missed your situation. And in that situation, I'm telling the you, the witch came through. And I'm not. I'm. I'm she was a witch because she's telling she, you she was a witch when she met him. So during that period where she realizes, oh wow. I'm pregnant. We just broke up. Maybe we get back together. 
boom, the witch is already showing up. She's already scooped up your man, and it's finished. <laughs> yeah. It's not funny. Yeah, she came through with her, her crystals. Sorry, she came through with her protection stones, her healing stones, her necklaces, her special drops, her mantras, all of that. She came through, done, finished, Listen. case closed, and yeah. Listen. And she married him. Listen. And you had a baby with him, and you weren't married. So. <laughs> Sorry. You're, so your pastors aren't talking to you about this. I, I know that for a fact. They are not. You might have maybe some... Uh, pastor that might talk to you about a Ouija board or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. But we ain't talking about that right now. We talking about some deeper dark witchcraft that people are practicing and they're pegging it as good witch because even this Giselle lady is saying that you're lucky you're made a good witch. There's no such thing as a good witch. A witch is a witch is a witch. And it's ungodly. And it's demonic. And it's dark. Period. 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 They say it from the back too. Period. And you know, sometimes people think that, oh, this, 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 N-A, this does not apply to me. Not but you don't know. You could be Bridget. Everybody. You could be her. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Bridget and not Bond. realize that this man mm -hmm. has the met new, a witch. The, the new lady that he's been dating. Maybe y'all been trying to work it out. You're having trouble or whatever. But you're trying to work it out. And all of a sudden, he dating some new person. And all of a sudden, he switched up. Yeah. He said he wasn't she ready might... for marriage. Oh, but boom. All of a sudden. He, she's got a ring on. Yeah. But the pastor said your problem is witch, witches, but you know, he said it. He said your problem is your witches. Your problem is witches. And a lot of people will be like, oh, no, I don't. Witches? What witches? They're right in front of you. Giselle is giving this man all of this stuff. Yeah. And she had them with her when she went on that date. I'm sure she had those crystals in her purse. She had stuff. She had protection stones all around her. Listen. She's like, I'm getting him. Listen, there's a lot of witches around you. Mm -hmm. You need to do a road check. There's some witches right next to you right now. So again, don't take this lightly. We're not, you know, this is nothing to be trifled with. This is serious. Um, you guys need to be aware um, of all of this stuff. And just keep in mind that all of this burning of sage and crystal collection is the gateway to witch dump. And Christians are doing it. So, And too many of y'all Christians are out there. What you burning sage for? I feel like I've said that in a previous video. Yes, you have. What you burning sage for? Sage, what, as a Christian, clear that has air? Nothing, what you need to clear the air over? You need to pray and take authority of your situation. What you burn the sage for? Can you picture Adam with sage? What you what, what's Moses that for? With, what do you, why do I need sage? Listen, we are not in the temple, and this is not the special incense that God said. If you read your Bible, you will know that, first of all, the incense that God had is such a special recipe that he forbade them to use it for anything else. There you go. This was there a special go. incense. It had cinnamon. Go. I don't know what, 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 Myrrh what. and aloe. And, and all yeah. you could use it for was burning in the temple. God had That's a recipe. It. He had a special perfume recipe for himself. I don't know what you're burning sage for. Who taught you about sage? Wh where did the knowledge of sage come from? It doesn't come from the Bible. No, it's this new agey witches mm -hmm. and all this crystals. What you need grounding for? What you, what you need to hold? Oh, this rose quartz gives me love. And I, you know, I just feel so much peace. What you need the peace for? The peace comes from Jesus. I don't sound peaceful when I say it, but you guys need to understand. Peace comes from Jesus. Jesus left you with a peace. That's what he said in, in, I will pull it up. I go and I'm giving you a gift of, of, of peace. It's an actual gift that Jesus is giving to us. Peace doesn't come because you've cleared the air with burning. Maybe what you need to do is actually go through anger management classes. Hold your tongue. What you need to clear the air for? Maybe you talk too much. Maybe. What are you bringing the sage for? Oh, you know, I just have all these people, this negative oh, energy. The negative energy coming just, in my house. I just, I don't want any. Maybe you're the problem and you're attracting them because you are a witch practicing. You're a, 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 a baby witch. And now other people are coming with their demons inside your house and you're recognizing it. But the answer is Jesus. The answer isn't sage and crystals. You're just going to attract more witches. Well, spirits attract. You're, you're... They sure do. Just like that story of the man, you clean your house and then it went up and the demon itself said, I'm going to go find some stronger demons and come back because I liked it there. Mm -hmm. People, please stop. 
anyways, be careful of all this stuff. We've talked a lot. Mm-hmm. Again, this is going to be a multi-part series. Yep. I think we're going to end this here Mm -hmm. again. So it's not too long. You know, we love to talk too long. So (laughs) we're just going to end it here and come back with part two. Again, we just really wanted to talk about, you know, what witchcraft is, um, why we're talking about it and just kind of give you a taste of it. And we're going to come back and just kind of get into more deep, more in depth, you Mm -hmm. know, about witchcraft. All right. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.